Hey, it's Dr. Yates in Chicago. It's Monday morning. The weather isn't bad. Uh, I have Robin here. You know, Robin's a nurse. And as you know, she runs my practice and helps us with everything. And we have one of our patients here from out of town, Patagonia. I always like her because I can always remember her name, Patagonia. I love that name. So thanks for coming, Patagonia. So today what we're going to talk about is the progress she's had because 40% of our practice is female or are female patients. So you should know there is hope. So we're just gonna fast forward and I'll talk so much. She's had a couple things done. She's had a hair transplant where we filled in these corners, come in and let's look at how the corners used to look. Okay, there, there we go, those other corners. Um, they were very light. Now this hair is transplanted, so when she wears it back, you know, she has less of a forehead and she has framing of her face. That's number one, okay? Number two, let's come on top and show through here, do our aerial view. Zoom, like an airplane coming up, there we go. And you can see that her hair density up here is a lot better. We didn't do a transplant here, we did PRP through here. Now, go. let's look at the picture before, and you can see that she had a lot of loss of density there. PRP brought that back, that's a natural remedy, okay? So, we can go back over there, and what we're gonna do today is called exosomes. Exosomes, that's the newest, the latest, the greatest in regenerative medicine. And Robin's actually gonna inject for me. We've numbed her scalp. We're not doing PRP. Exosomes, to me, are like PRP on steroids. They're actually little vesicles that carry multitude of growth factors that go to the area of the injured hair follicle and repairs it, okay? Now, obviously, I'm oversimplifying it but that's basically what it is. There's no uh, problem with transmission of disease, DNA, anything like that, and they come from stem cells, okay? So that's the basics of exosomes. Look them up, you'll learn more. Come here, we do them exclusively in Chicago, and you know what the greatest thing is, Robin, what? We're the first in Chicago to do it. That's and good, and they work. Really great hair growth, yeah. <laughs> And they work. Faster than we were seeing with PRP and stem cells. Yeah, and we do it with stuff. hair transplants too. I always ask my staff, I'll say, they'll tell me, like Robin will say, do you think that's a good idea, Bill Yates? And what will I say? If it works. That's what I say about everything. If it works. Okay, let's get ready to do some exosomes. And we're gonna show you how easy it is, so bear with us, okay? So, a little sub-Q, subdermal injection. There we go. She's feeling nothing. She likes this feeling. Exosomes feel good, I've been told when they go in. Robin's had exosomes on her hair. I've had exosomes on my hair about a month ago. Her hair is already looking better. Usually PRP takes, you know, four to five months. We're finding this exosome thing's two months. The hair, when we do a transplant, grows back you know, usually it sheds in two months, it's starting to grow in two months, okay? Very simple technique. We don't draw any blood with exosomes. So look up exosomes. This, this is it. We're this gonna go it. all the way to the back, but basically this is it, and we'll see her back in about a month, six weeks, and most, Keep, most likely the hair will be growing thicker. in thicker. And the question is, how often do exosomes have to be repeated? That data is not in a lot of, or, everything's done like an orthopedics before we start doing it for hair and other areas of regenerative medicine. So the answer is we don't know, but it appears to be a little longer than PRP, maybe two years. A lot of doctors are using it to rejuvenate facial tissue to produce collagen. We've started to do that as well, to kind of prolong the facelift, to add a little bit to filler to make it more real so you don't look fake. Exosomes for regenerative medicine is here to stay. I can tell you that right now. So we're almost done here. And something else fascinating, a lot of people will always say, well, how many exosomes am I getting? Because a lot of doctors, everybody wants more is better, right? So she's getting two billion exosomes. Now, do you know how big two billion exosomes is? It's a big number, okay? But exosomes are so small, they're smaller than a viral particle. So two billion exosomes is a lot. Are we sure that's the magic number? No, but we know it needs to be in the billions to do what we need to do. And so we're almost done. That's it. That is it. We're done with the exosomes. And the good thing about our practice, we specialize in hair. So a lot of places are out here shooting exosomes here and there. Oh, let me put some in your hair. 
but they have no idea what the growth cycle of hair is, why you would want to do it, what part of the hair follicle is affected, what's in an exosome, and if you want to prove me wrong, just ask those four or five questions I ask you to the person who says they're doing exosomes. So come see us in Chicago. We know what we're doing. We're the best at it. We can make your hair grow or we can make it the best it can be. As the Army says, what do they say? Be, be all, all you, can, you can be. Be all that you can be. And that's all we ask and that's all we want you to do and that's what we're here for. This is Dr. Yates, this is Robin. Patagonia is probably asleep because we've massaged her head before we started. So we'll see you next time. Thanks.